Got a Fox News alert for you as you look live at Washington screen left. Uh, tomorrow, a historic, massive pro-Israel rally is being planned for Washington, D.C. Meanwhile, anti-Israeli protests rage across the globe, including in London. At least 300,000 demonstrators marched on Saturday wearing Hamas headbands, screaming anti-Semitic chants, and as you could see in some video, clashing violently with the cops. Well, this morning, UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak firing a senior official who accused police of favoring the pro Palestinian protesters. Here to react, host of Piers Morgan Uncensored on Fox Nation, Piers Morgan himself. Hey, Piers. Well, good morning. It's good all morning. kicking off here, I can tell you. No yeah, what's the reaction there? Well, two dramatic uh, developments this morning. We had this big march on Saturday. And there was a huge controversy leading up to it because the Home Secretary, our Interior Minister, Suella Braverman, uh, had written a piece for the Times newspaper in which she was heavily critical of the police and many people thought undermined the police by saying that at previous pro-Palestinian marches, they hadn't done enough to identify people that were pro-Hamas and to arrest them and so on. Uh, but more importantly, I think, for her career prospects, Suella Braverman sent this piece before publication to the prime minister and who sent back some amendments and told her to take some stuff out. She took some of it out, <coughs> but not all of it. Okay. And by not taking out everything she was told to take out, she was undermining the authority of the prime minister. So. We wake up this morning, and early morning here in London, Rishi Sunak fired his uh, interior minister, Suella Braverman, and then equally dramatically, he had to move someone to the Home Office. He moved James Cleverly, who was the Foreign Secretary. He's been moved to be the new interior minister, and guess who's coming back to run the Foreign Office? David Cameron, former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Quite remarkable. No kidding. And, and Pierce, as we look at a, a surprise comeback, uh, as we look at that that video of what happened, particularly on that bridge over the River Thames, I believe. Um, how, how do you, as somebody who is on the side of Israel, explain why so many of those people are pro Hamas? Yeah, look, it's a it's a massive controversy here, as I know it is in the United States. A lot of people, particularly the Jewish community in the United Kingdom, feeling extremely angry that more is not being done to police these protests. And they've got a very good argument. There were, there were people literally chanting on video, posted on social media, death to the Jews. Right. Uh, there were people wearing pro-Hamas insignia mm. uh, and so on. Uh, and they were not arrested. Now, the police have uh, retrospectively posted some stuff on social media asking for information leading up to these people being brought to justice. But many people are arguing, and I have great sympathy with this, that they should be doing that in real time. You know, you may remember the coronation. I mean, Ainsley, you and I were mm -hmm. there. And on the morning of the coronation, uh, Republicans who were anti the idea of a monarchy were being rounded up all over central London and arrested to stop them protesting against the monarchy on the day of our coronation. But here you have people, not all, I have to say the majority of people on that march definitely were there for peaceful purposes, but there are still large numbers of people who were not, who were promoting a terror organization, which is a criminal offense. And unlike the Republican protesters at the coronation, they were not arrested. And I think as these marches continue, which they're planning to do, mm -hmm. the police have to do more, which ironically is one of the things that Suella Braverman mm -hmm. was calling for them to do. But it was really defying the authority of the prime minister, who's tried to straddle a, a careful line on this, that has in the and cost her her job. Now we have a new Home Secretary, and we also, and Americans will, I'm sure, remember him, David Cameron, when I'll be Foreign Secretary, and doubtless will come to the United States, but not as Prime Minister. He led this country for six years, but as the new Foreign Secretary. And that is, in many ways, being seen in this country as a bigger bombshell than the Home Secretary being fired. Yeah, nobody saw that one coming. All right, Pierce, thank yeah. you so much. Good to see you. Pierce Morgan, uncensored. Good to see you, Good to see you always. It's on Fox Nation, weekdays at 4.30 p.m. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.